Hi guys, Poundland today. Bought some items for a project inspired by lid motor. Uh, they're not actually what I wanted, but it's the closest I can find. Any solar wobbler would do, or solar mover, or whatever you want to call them. So it'll be okay. But I was looking for a, a bell jar. Uh, Poundland had some back around Christmas time with novelties inside them but they haven't got any in stock at the moment so this is just a plastic jar of sweets it's about the right sort of size for what I've got in mind so I'll empty the sweets out of it and see if we can use it if you don't know Lid Motors current project it's pulse motors often is pulse motors in lid motors case um, inside a jar using I can't remember what he calls it now it's um, magnetic levitation but it's not um, it's not proper levitation you're actually using a post up the middle to stop the thing you're levitating drift off to side, side to side. So I've got a magnet here. I've got a load of more magnets in here. A load of more magnets. That's not English, is it? These little magnets. Um, there are little neodymium magnets in there and obviously it's repelled by that magnet so the idea is your pulse motor which will have probably four magnets around the outside it's got some magnets underneath it so it actually balances balances um, levitates above that magnet so what i need to do is get some of these magnets stick them under there, put a hole right in the middle uh, that might be a problem with this particular lid because it doesn't have a con convenient little pip in the middle that one's got a nice little pip in the middle um, how can we check get a card out of the way, oh yes there is a nice little pip right in the middle okay so I'll drill a hole through just there where the pip is then put one of my needles through there and fix it some way underneath the magnet so that stands vertical and then the magnets we put underneath here that are repelled by that make this levitate and because it's held in place by the needle it doesn't shoot off to one side it just stays levitating in the one place and then when we put the magnets around the outside we use the coil and electronics inside the solar wobbler to actually kick it or pulse it round so it spins round now I want to use that lid if I can because that does fit inside there but not a lot of space around it so I might have to put the magnets on the inside rather than the outside I'm wondering whether the same magnets will actually suspend it so I only use four magnets then that'll be interesting see if we can get that to work and then the coil in here we could cut it all up and try and fit it inside or we could just stick it on the outside we'll just have to see won't we <coughs> getting the rubbish bin ready so this little fella
then the long term aim while I'm doing this is during the day it runs off the solar panel and overnight you have a little battery or a capacitor one or the other you can have a capacitor that's charged up by the solar panel or you could just have a battery that just slowly runs down um, to keep it running at night. I'm waffling a bit because I'm thinking and doing things at the same time and I'm not very good at multitasking. That's your solar panel, that's your circuit board, capacitor, black blob that does the actual work. Very fine wires go across to that coil so be very careful if you're doing this because the first thing you probably do is break that wire and then it's ruined. Um, you could try and lift that coil off of the plastic but the chances are you'll fail. It will probably come apart while you're trying to cut it or lift it. You're better at just cutting the plastic around the outside and keeping the coil intact and then we might just stick that on the outside. We'll see. Anyway, that little fella we don't need. I'll save the magnet, you never know, the magnet might be useful for something. You may not want to watch this, I'm just going to pull it apart because I'm not going to try and save this one. But I suppose we can do a very quick tear down. So he's got a couple of pivots there rock side to side. The magnet under there is repelled. Oh great, you can see that. Or is that ah, <laughs> that's what that's been attracted to. Oops. Yeah, um, the coil there generates a magnetic field that repels this, basically. Uh, there's a bit of electronics there that detects when the magnet swings over the coil, switches the power on, so the coil then becomes magnetic and repels that. You might have to look up a circuit diagram or something to understand how it works. But that's basically it. The coil repels that, but it also acts as a detector so it knows when the magnet is in place to actually switch the current to actually repel it. I don't know if I explained that very well, but I'm not too worried, to be honest. So I'll save that, just to save the magnet, but the rest of it can go in the bin. That looks like it might fit there quite nicely, because there's a bit of a dimple in there. Might have to put a bit of hot glue or something there to hold it in place. And also there's a little mark in the middle there. I can drill a small hole in there for my needle. get it out. So we go in there, hole in there. Normally you have a small hole in there, tight fitting, so that's actually held in place by the needle and then you have a magnet underneath and a magnet above and that holds the needle upright. So it's probably touching the bottom and not touching the top. So you've got very little friction. The idea of this thing is we should have virtually no friction because although there's a little hole there to stop it wobbling around, it won't be touching the sides very much. Positive thinking. So let's have a look. 
uh, want some of these. Cool, that's hard plastic. Get the cutters out instead. Right, we don't actually want to damage the magnets, but we do want to get them out of that plastic shell. Right, this is very rough and ready, just to test the principle. I'm just using glue dots, as they're called, which are horrible sticky bits of uh, something. I can hold that still, that is being repelled. So it's levitating. So I'll drill a hole in the middle, which I probably should have done first. And then we'll see if we can put a needle. I've forgotten what it was. Needle up the middle and then see if it stays levitated over the top of it. Right, this is still very um, rough and ready. I've drilled a hole in my bit of wood there. So I've got the needle sitting in the hole. Put the magnet over the top. And we've got the magnets in there that should repel that magnet. So if we sit that over there, they are repelling a lot and not very evenly either. And that's what we want. We want it repelled like that. But I think they're too strongly repelled. That's no good. Uh, well, what happens if we try and rig this up? Yeah. I might have to put some hot glue on here because these magnets keep moving. I put a little bit of weight on there to try and balance it. But there we are suspended or levitated above the main magnet. And then I've cut this about a bit. Oh, we're not on the screen. <laughs> right, this is the solar rocker unit so we've got the coil there circuit board and solar panel so if i hold this over the top so the question is if i give that little spin to get it going will that be enough to keep it going Right, we've moved on a bit. Still got my magnet there. Still got those magnets underneath, but I've added four more on top. Uh, for one reason that gives a bit more weight and is helping to hold it down. But it also means that if I now hold the solar rocker um, electronics over the top, and let the light get at it. Let's 
It's having a good go at starting itself. Obviously it's all rocking around a bit and my hand's shaking. Wants to go the other way. Well we've got the basic principle working, but I can't just sort of stay here holding it like this, can I? I think I've got rather a lot of video that I'm going to have to edit anyway, so we got the start of it, the start of the project. We've got magnetic levitation and we've got the solar rocker circuit spinning it. We'll call that part one and then we'll look at what we can do whether we can physically get this in there with magnets on the outside. Looks a bit of a tight fit, doesn't it? Well, they might be able to do it. Hold up the middle there, either have the magnet on the outside. Like that, or it could even sit inside. Well, I haven't really moved on to stage two, but I have just drilled a hole in the bottom, pushed the needle through, got the magnet on the bottom there, and got my bottle cap sitting in there. So it is magnetically levitated. Not a lot happening there. End up breaking these wires in a minute. Trying to be careful. Gonna have to cut that up so I can get it closer. Well, clearly I need to take a different approach here. My pulse motor still thinks it's a solar rocker. It's levitating nicely over the magnet. But I tried to get away with just adding magnets on the top there. And yeah, they're not in the right place. I think I need to use a slightly smaller lid, plastic lid, so I can put the magnets around the sides. And then we might get a bit of circular motion instead of rocking. It's trying to go. I don't know if we can see. It is doing a little bit of side to side. But it's not spinning up. So smaller lid and get the magnets in the right place. I think. But the levitation's working. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.